Just 4 hours ago, one of the biggest AI tools of the year has been announced. It's called Pika 1.0. This is like runway 2 on steroids. This is by far the best AI video stuff we have. Yeah, I guess the waitlist is gonna get really long, so just check this out, right? This is all AI generated. Like that's insane. This is this could legit be a full commercial. Like companies are gonna go wild over this, man. I I mean, as soon as I get access, I'll make a more in-depth video. But like, just looking at the preview, this is unlike anything we've seen in terms of AI videos. This looks much more realistic, much much more sharp. There aren't any artifacts, you know. There there isn't any blur. Now, obviously, sure, they're gonna use the best, you know, footage they have for the promo. But like. Even if the real footage is 80% as good as this, man, it's gonna be insane. Okay, th this one is probably one of the weakest shots. I mean, so some something like this you could you could make with Runway Gen 2 already, you know, pretty similar. But like, you know, for example, the raccoon, like, this is crazy. Like that, that's not. Like, that doesn't feel like AI. That should not be possible with AI. Like, how is this AI generated, man? Like, wow. Such an insane advancement in the text-to-video space. It's crazy. It's like, we are, like, probably less than a year away until all video evidence will no longer be, you know, valid. Like, how can you prove someone in court did something when we have AI that can generate, man, the, the average, the general, like, the, the average person is not ready for this. Like, people are just barely catching up to, you know, AI images, like, man. Okay, so obviously, you know, it's not just text to video. I guess that's the main reason they're calling it idea to video because, you know, you can do text, you can do images, you can do videos, and it can work with all three of these modalities to generate a new AI video. So, yeah, as you can see, you can drag in um, an image and animate it. Crazy. So this is like, you know, some... This is, this is how the very first videos look like, you know, Edward Muybridge, uh, Thomas Edison, like these pioneers of motion picture. This is um, the very beginnings. So you can take something like this, obviously. And the reason why it works well is because there's a lot of contrast, right? Like the horse and the rider are black while the background is basically almost white. So like the more contrast you'll have, the better results you'll get from video to video. This is also gonna be huge, man. Like, I, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm, I'm quite literally speechless. I think like every single content creator, every single YouTuber, TikToker, Twitch streamer will instantly buy this because like, you can expand footage. Like, how many times you have stock footage that just ends, you know, at the incorrect, uh, like, you know, something is cropped out or whatever, or maybe like even your own footage. You recorded something, but maybe you missed the shot a bit. Now you can just extend. <laughs> Man, this like this probably is going to be the single best AI tool for content creation. Now sure you might say, you know, ChatGPT can do like can help you write titles, scripts, brainstorm video ideas, but it's all text, right? I mean sure that Dali Free can create some amazing images, but like video is you know <laughs> for for content creators, video is where the game is at. And Pika 1.0 is by far the best. I'll, in a bit, I'll compare it to Runway 2 and, the, you know, like other uh, cutting edge uh, state of the art uh, text to video mo AI models, AI videos. But it's by far the best. It's like nothing is even close to this. And yeah, as I said, like every single content creator needs to catch up.
Let, let me replay that one one more time in case you didn't fully grasp what just happened. All of this is expanding a small video. So look at this. They start with a small, you know, zoomed in shot of a fox face, which already is AI generated, but then they expand it multiple times. So pay close attention. Like, <laughs> man, the AI revolution is here. Like it's here, it's in full swing. Hey, okay, so this one doesn't look that good. I mean, sure, it's still video and you know, it's amazing that it can even do that, but you know, if we look at the second change, so like she's moving and her body is changing, so it's kind of tough to track that. So I wasn't really impressed with the, you know, denim top, but check this out. The leather one is like infinitely better. Crazy, man. So like, dude, if you... Go, go to pika.art and instantly apply, you know, you're going to be on the waitlist and there's probably going to be hundreds of thousands of people on the waitlist. Like, if we just compare it to Claude 2 for the API, they have like 350,000 people on the waitlist. So, I could imagine this getting to, you know, the hundreds of thousands, over 100k for sure. Because like, as I said, every single content creator will want to get this. Because like, you know, stock footage is dead. Why would you pay for like, you know, Adobe stock or like get the, like get, get the images, man. <laughs> like one image costs like $600. Like what is that, man? You just created AI and now you can even create super quality videos with AI. So why would you pay for some overpriced, you know, stock video subscription when you can just pay for Pika AI, Pika 1.0 and create your own perfect clip for any situation? Man, like this is, it, this is the revolution, man. So this is what Andre Karpafi uh, tweeted in response to this. Obviously, Andre Karpafi, you know, one of the greatest AI researchers of all time, currently at OpenAI. Um, you have to follow him and turn on. <laughs> I have turned on notifications for his posts because his tweets are always gold. So th this is what he posted. You know how image generation went from a blurry 32 by 32 texture patches to high resolution images that are difficult to distinguish from real in roughly a snap of a finger, the same is now happening along the time axis extending to video and the repercussions boggle the mind just a bit. Every human becomes a director of a multimodal dreams, like the architect in Inception. So actually this is something that Clem from Hugging Face uh, tweeted. He predicted for 2024 that there's going to be a major movie that's going to be mostly, if not entirely, generated by AI. And as we see now, that's probably going to be the case. So it's only a matter of time before, you know, there's a movie that destroys some block uh, of box office record that's like made by AI. And the profit margins on that will be crazy because, you know, what does a, like, a top movie cost? Like over $100 million. I think the Napoleon movie had a budget of like $100 million or something. Well, with AI, you can make amazing movie with like, I don't know. I mean, obviously you have to include salaries. So if you include salaries, so probably like five, five figures, maybe like low six figures, but that's still nothing compared to $100 million, which is nine figures. So like the, it's literally, movies are going to be literally 100 to 1000 times cheaper to make. Wild, wild. Continuing to his tweet, coming back to Earth for a second, image slash video generation is a perfect match for data hungry neural nets because data is plentiful and the pixels of each image or video are a huge source of bits. So if you think about it, right? If you have a video that's a full HD, so 1920 times 1080, that's like 2 million pixels. And each pixel uh, is a data point. So if you're training on text, it's like much harder to get the same amount of data. So, I mean, obviously like still the biggest source of videos is YouTube. So we'll see what uh, Google releases, whether they finally 
uh, give us Gemini, you know, as they've been promising for like the last six, seven months. I don't know what's happening there. But, you know, once the companies really start training on video data, and, you know, as I said, Google is the best position for this, things are about to get real crazy real quick. Because, like, you know, Pika AI, they don't have access to the same amount of data as YouTube has, as Google has, thanks to YouTube. So, just... Imagine what Google could do with all the data they have if this is what Pika Labs can do without, you know, Google's data. Crazy, man. <clears throat> oh, so yeah, okay. So let's continue. <clears throat> when you're training giant neural nets in supervision-rich settings, your train loss becomes your validation loss and life is so good. My favorite place to keep an eye on the AI video space unfold at the moment is probably Reddit uh, r slash AI video or the individual discords. So this is a nice tip for from Andre Karpafi. I'll be honest, uh, I am not in this discord, but I probably should be. So yeah, as we can see, this is the top post as predicted. But yeah, I mean, just look at this, like look at this comparison, right? So this is the Pika 1.0. Man, the cow, the cow is so crazy. And this is like, I, I guess, Runway Gen 2. Yeah, Runway. It's like, it's miles above, you know? Like, sure, this is, this is good, you know? And still, obviously, a year ago, we didn't even have this. So this is still amazing. But like, if you compare something like this, where, you know, there's just a little bit of motion, and it's still blurry, and you can easily tell it's AI-generated, to something like the cow clip. Bro, what what is going on okay so i mean this is obviously the eight month old eight month old uh gen 2 release so like you know from runway has been the market leader for a long time but like you know it's, it's just it's just a massive breakthrough what pika labs have been able to accomplish i mean this is only a 54 second preview so there's like Again, as soon as I get access and as other creators get access, like, imagine the infinite opportunities this can create. Like, literally anybody can create a movie. Anybody can create their own movie. Like, how wild is that? We live in the future, man. So, okay, so I was, like, you know, comparing it to Runway, but to give Runway some credit, they have been rolling out updates. So, obviously, this is the, you know... Eight, uh, eight month old version so uh, right now uh, gen 2 is better than that and you know nick saint, saint pierre summarized it uh, really well with this 19 second movie which took him 45 minutes to make so first he uh, generated images in mid journey then he used runway to add motion trinity to generate music 11 laps for the voiceover chat gpt for the script and cap cut for edit so literally six tools all of which are ai powered to create your own movie. And now imagine the same thing, but with Pika 1.0. Like, the quality, it would be much sharper, there would be more movement. Wild, man, wild. So, the latest update from Runway was just eight days ago. And, you know, it's adding some new tools, like motion brush, uh, presets. And, like, you know, you can see the progress they've made from uh, eight months ago. But still, like, if you just look at this and think, you know, compare it to the Pika 1.0 uh, AI model, because it's crazy. I mean, obviously, look, it's amazing. Like, I don't want to, you know, discredit what Runway is doing, but like, this is just a massive breakthrough. Like, there's no other way to say it.
It's like, you know, less blur, more movement. It's like everything you want and need in your AI videos has been accomplished in Pika Labs. So, a huge, huge uh, W for Pika Labs. And as I said, you know, go to pika.art if you want to get on the waitlist. Hopefully I get access soon. Um, and if I do, I'll probably uh, make a more detailed video on Pika 1.0. But yeah, follow them on Twitter. And if you want to stay on top of the AI game, make sure to subscribe. It takes just two seconds and it helps out a lot.